In today's video, I'm going to show you a few new simple and easy steps to greatly boost FPS and reduce input delay in Fortnite Season 4 on PC. Enjoy! This first step requires a NVIDIA graphics card with fully updated drivers, and I'm going to show you how to check if your drivers are updated. So if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you should have the program GeForce Experience. I want you to double click in there. And then right when that opens, at the top left, you're going to see this little icon that says drivers. You're going to want to click on that. And right here, you can check for updates. My drivers are up to date. And when your drivers are up to date and you go in your Fortnite, you will see this new setting that pops up like so. This new setting known as NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, when turned on plus boost like I just did on screen, is specifically designed to greatly reduce input delay, which can make your game feel a lot faster and a lot smoother. For this step, you're going to want to click on the Windows key and then go to Settings. And once you're in your settings, you're going to want to click on the Gaming tab. And to the right, you're going to see a thing that says Graphic Settings. You're going to want to click on that, and this should pop up. And what you're going to want to do is hit Browse. Now, from here, you're going to find Fortnite. For most people, it's going to look like this. You go in your C drive, you go to Program Files, you go to Epic Games, you go to Fortnite, you go to Fortnite Game, you hit binaries, win64, and then it should be right here. Fortnite client-win64-shipping. This is the one you want to press specifically. And you're going to want to hit add. And it should pop up like that if you've done it correctly. And you're going to see a button that says options. You're going to click on that and graphic specifications, high performance and then you're gonna click save. This will make your game get more FPS and reduce input delay both, but you're gonna have to restart your PC for this to take effect. This is one of the most useful steps in this video. This next step is also for people with NVIDIA graphics cards. So what you're gonna wanna do is right click anywhere on the desktop and click on NVIDIA control panel. And now once that launches, you're going to see at the top left an option that says adjust image settings with preview right there that I just clicked on. And what you're going to want to do is click the use my preference emphasizing and you can either put it on quality or performance. What you're going to want to do is take this slider and put it all the way to performance. This will again help FPS and reduce input delay. And another thing you're going to want to do in here is right below that, the manage 3D settings option. There's an option right here. If you scroll down a little, this is low latency mode. Now there's on and ultra. These settings do drastically uh, decrease input delay and make the game feel a lot faster. However, some people do complain about slight FPS drops because of this setting. So I'm going to leave that up to you if you want to put that on. You can try it on and off, see what you like, but this can help get low latency, which is good. Next, I'm going to go over the best in-game settings, which are very similar, if not the same, to what most pros use in order to get the most FPS and reduce the input delay the most. First off, I do play stretch resolution. I mainly do this because I like the wider characters, it's easier to hit your targets. However, with that being said, less pixels on the screen, as you can see 1750 instead of 1920, it will give you more frames as your PC has to render less pixels. If you want to look up how to do stretch resolution, there's some good tutorials out there, but it will help. Also, make your FPS cap one notch higher than your monitor. My monitors are 144 hertz, so you could either do 160 or 165, just a little bit higher than your cap. And in terms of my 3D resolution, I keep that in 100. I like everything clear, but my view distance, shadows, and analyzing textures, effects, post-processing, all low and off. 
My V-Sync and Motion Blur definitely have these off. DirectX 11, this is what most pros use. Allowed multi-thread rendering on, GPU crash debugging off, latency markers, I'm not too familiar with these settings. This you're gonna wanna have on plus boost, we talked about this. And that's pretty much it for your in-game settings. For this next step, what you're going to want to do is every time after you start up your game, you're going to want to click the Windows key and go to this little arrow icon down here. And you're going to click on it and you're going to see all these little background processes and icons which are running in the background. And for an example, the Epic Games launcher runs in the background every time after you start up Fortnite. So what you're gonna wanna do is every time, come down here, right click it and hit e exit. It won't do anything to your game. It'll just be something to eliminate in the background process and will help your game run smoother and faster. For example, I'm not using this SteelSeries software, exit. This code, I'm not using it at the moment, quit. This will just help eliminate any unnecessary background processes that could cause your game to get slightly less FPS and use your CPU for things you don't want it to.